Normally, we would we would recommend against blowing up someone's yeah, phone when yeah, they're not responding to you. You but... should go to his house and see if he's there. Yeah. Stop <laughs> it, Ghosted is powered by Ghost Kitchens. Order from over 20 food brands and get everything in one delivery, like Quiznos and Cinnabon. Visit Uber Eats, skip the dishes, and DoorDash for a location near you. All right, let's introduce the world to Sonia. Sonia, world, world, Sonia, nice to meet you. And... Sonia, you met with a guy, uh, Jackson. You guys matched on Hinge in December. You couldn't meet up, yes. but you did manage to date. So can you explain how you're doing it? Every Saturday, we do, like, a date night, and we video chat on WhatsApp, and we, like, watch a, a movie together or, like, just eat dinner and, like, talk. And it's been really fun. That's I cute. really enjoyed myself. Um, and he has as well. Like, I mean, at least that's what I was getting at. Um, but then all of a sudden, last weekend, he just stood me up and like at seven o'clock our usual time he just didn't call me and I've called him and texted him and he hasn't responded and do you guys talk like throughout the week or is it just kind of you meet up on Saturdays yeah we we pretty much have been talking like non-stop ever since we matched like every single day and then mm. we totally hit it off and then we came up with this idea that you know every Saturday we'll do that and it's been mm. really fun Sonia, you mentioned that you called and texted them afterwards. How many times did you do that? That's an important detail. Um, quite a bit, honestly. I, I don't know. I've lost count. <laughs> but he, oh. he hasn't answered. Yeah, I've been blowing oh. up his phone. I don't know. Oh, boy. Maybe Good. his phone's off. Yeah, maybe he's <laughs> okay. No, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> maybe he's out of town. It is, it is like, <laughs> weird. Like, it know. is hard to get a battery replacement these days. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. So... <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> normally we would we would recommend against blowing up someone's yeah. phone when yeah, they're not responding to you. You but should go to his house and see if he's there. Yeah. Stop <laughs> <it>. <laughs> Sonia, we're going to give him a call next with you listening quietly on the phone, and we'll see how this goes, okay? Okay. Hi there, we're looking for Jackson. Uh, yes, Jackson speaking. Uh, who's this? Adam Wilde, TJ, and Jax from 99.9 Virgin Radio. Hello. Hi. Oh, hey. Uh, how can I help you? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we are wondering if you could give us a little information about a haunting, actually a ghosting. Uh, her name is Sonia. We understand that you guys went on a few FaceTime dates. Oh, man. I, I, I was just a sucker for doing those, like, FaceTime dates. Why are you guys bringing this up? Well, because we were hoping you could help us with that. Because, like, basically, we understand that you... You had dates with you her. You abandoned her. And then you never talked to her again. What happened? I mean, yeah, we had, like, two cool dates. Uh, and then on the third one, like, one of her roommates come into her room and is like, can I join your date and watch Bridgerton with you guys? Ooh. And I was like, Ooh. in my head, I was like, hell no, bro. Like, we're on a date. <laughs> yeah. So it was, a, it was a guy? Yes. Uh-huh. Uh John is really nice and let him. It's it's a it's a roommate, Alex. He's yeah. just like long haired, stunning Australian kid. Like, oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh yeah, he's just hanging out with her. On, and I'm I'm trying to be on this virtual date, but he's there. And I was like, I I, I don't even know if you could call it being a third wheel at that point. Plus, you guys like, are watching like Bridgerton, being... which is basically porn. Yeah, yeah, that's awkward. Yeah. So when the next weekend <laughs> rolled around, I'm like, I'm out. I can't compete. I can't compete with Alex. I have no chance. She can go sleep with him. Australians Whoa. are so I'm not going to sleep with Alex. Like, what? I, I thought, like, you were so nice for letting us, you know, letting him join us. I didn't realize it, like, bothered you. You should have said something. Is, it, is that Tanya? Yeah. And Alex. And uh, <laughs> no. Alex is not here. <laughs> I mean, that wouldn't even surprise you. No, okay, oh, all right, no, 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 okay. So, Jax, Jax, Jax. You have to, Jackson, you have to admit. By the way, sonia has been listening the yeah. whole time she hears. You got to admit, Jackson, that, that it's a bit of a grand assumption that just because her roommate's hot that she's just yeah. going to instantly sleep with him when she's dating yeah. you. People could be platonic friends. You Damn. imagine that, right? I, I I guess, but there was there was like tension. I you can you can sense it. You can sense it. I, I don't know. It just, okay. All right. Was there it's tension a, or was there a projection? Oh, oh. therapy boy over here. No, it's good. Yeah, yeah. No, he liked it because it rhymed. No, no, <laughs> yeah, no like but it both. also worked. Now, okay. All right. So here's what we <laughs> normally do, Jackson. And normally, like like when people can actually date, we would say, you know, we'll pay for your next meal or something like that. I guess we could do like your Uber Eats or whatever. But if you would be willing, and if Sonya's will, still willing. Would you guys want to do like a little reconnect? We'll order you guys in some food. You yeah, guys can watch yeah. the rest of Bridgerton or something else together and maybe see where this goes without Alex. Because I'll say this, Sonia, 
and I think everybody in the room agrees with me. Uh, when your roommate says, can I join your date? You say no. Yes. Okay, I guess I guess fair enough. Fair, you know, right? I guess they should yeah. have thought it is a about da- that. <laughs> so, so Jackson, would you like yeah. to go on date three? I mean, honestly, I feel like you guys should offer the date to Sonya and Alex because I feel like I'm talking about the phone. Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> petty. That was and petty. Just like that, he lost the room. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Jackson, we, uh, we appreciate uh, your time this morning. He's okay, gone. he's gone. Yeah, he's okay. Gone. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Didn't even say goodbye. Yeah, that was just like, wow, we, we got ghosted by him too, Sonia. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't, he yeah, doesn't, yeah, yeah. Seriously. He doesn't sound like a lot of fun. And I feel like if there's some jealousy there, like that's a red flag. Oh, that's just, yeah. a, wait that's till just some guy who yeah, doesn't know. Like, like if, if you're in a relationship, imagine you're at a bar one day. And and he's there, but some guy at the bar doesn't know you're in a relationship. Comes up, offers yeah. you a drink. Imagine that th- what you'd be dealing with, right? I'm mad because I feel threatened. Yeah. yeah so like, so yeah. It, you seem like a great person. I would highly recommend not inviting yeah, other people that, into your don't date. Do that. <laughs> but other than that, like you're great. So yeah. you're gonna be fine. Thank you. Well, I'm glad I came to a conclusion, and you guys helped me figure it all out. <laughs> TJ, do you have any parting advice? Yeah, uh, you've been so wise. As... So what's Alex up to? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is there nothing going on yeah, with this yeah. guy, Alex? By the yeah. way, get him on the horn. Let's no, there's talk. Really, to him. nothing. He's just my roommate. Like yeah. I don't see him like that at all. Okay, that's how my parents met. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sonia, we wish you the very, very best. Keep in touch. Okay. 